Hi, I'm Stefan from Hex, and this is our new EasyCan. If you've ever tried to accessorize your bike, you might have noticed that installing the accessories is quite simple. Connecting them to the electrical wiring loom is more difficult, and it gets more difficult with each new bike model. That's why we designed the Hex EasyCan. This model in particular was designed for the uh, liquid-cooled models, the K50s, 51s, 52s, 53s, and we also have uh, several others coming out with different connections that will suit uh, the other BMW motorcycles and we'll probably be expanding our range as well. Let's take a closer look. It's a little device, probably the size of my thumb. Uh, on the one side we've got a uh, USB connector with a status LED on the inside showing you whether the unit is powered or whether there's a problem with any of the channels. And on the other side we have some connections. Now, don't be worried by the amount of wires. Let me explain. First and foremost, our battery connection. This unit uh, is connects to the battery uh, directly and we have got a fuse very close to the battery. It's very important. Secondly, we have got uh, these connectors that uh, connect to your CAN bus. They merge in line with the CAN bus and hence we can listen to the CAN bus messages and we don't need any switches. So we use your existing uh, switch for dim and bright, for the horn, for anything else you want to do, and of course another, a couple of other uh, CAN bus messages. Now let's have a look at the outputs. Uh, this unit has four outputs. We have two high power outputs and we've got two low power outputs. Uh, the outputs are generally configurable. Um, in default they are configured as a left and a right LED, a brake, uh, extra brake light, and of course an accessory which is an ignition output. The channels are individually fused, electronically fused. In the software itself you can set up a uh, fuse limit for each and every channel. The channels you will note, it's very difficult to see here, but they're color coded. There's red, orange, yellow and white. So it's very easy to configure them with the software. So why the Hex EasyCan? It uh, plugs directly into the CAN bus it saves you time, it doesn't void, void your warranty, uh, there's no cutting of wires, not even tapping into wires, and that makes sure your warranty stays intact. Uh, the channels themselves are individually fusible, the channels are individually identified by their colour, there's red, orange, yellow and white. Uh, this uh, coincides with the channel settings in the software. Um, let's look at some other key features. Uh, as I mentioned, it's water and dust proof, which is pretty important when you're on a motorbike. And um, we also integrate a couple of key safety features. If you look at the brake light, for instance, we've got several functions that you can configure the brake light for. You've got the standard uh, accessory additional brake light. You have got 4 hertz California legal flashing. And then we've also integrated something that's very similar to the BMW dynamic braking which means you've got the normal uh, additional brake light operation and if you decelerate faster than a certain uh, deceleration then the additional brake light will flash you know, getting the attention of a person behind you and hopefully preventing an accident. In addition we can also uh, control or uh, configure the brightness of both day and night time for both uh, dim and bright. That's a nice feature when you're not wanting to blind your riding buddy in front of you. The unit comes with a default configuration, that is the two high power channels of the left and right uh, LED front facing uh, channels and the low power channels are an accessory slash ignition output and an additional brake light output. This is what we're going to be using in this installation demo video. Of course uh, you might want to choose to install different accessories, for instance an air horn which might even draw 20 amps uh, when activated and you would want that on the high power channels. You just use the configuration software, change the configuration and set your current limits as required. Let's look at the installation of the Hex EasyCan. We have our liquid cooled 1200 GS Adventure. It's already fitted with two front facing LEDs and an auxiliary rear brake light. First we're going to be connecting the battery. I remove the connector to the RDC because that makes the cable routing that much easier. We have already removed the battery cover and I'm going to be routing the battery cable under this horizontal frame bar. We're going to be connecting the positive 
to the uh, jump start node and the uh, negative to the negative of the battery. Always remember, first remove the negative and make sure it's the last one you reconnect again. Next, let's have a look at the uh, CAN connection. Our motorcycle comes equipped with an RDC module. We've already removed the plug and we'll be adding the hex EasyCAN inline. The one side goes into the uh, RDC module while the other one goes into the harness. It's that easy. Now we'll be connecting the outputs. The two high power outputs, which is orange and red, go to the front facing LEDs while the yellow output goes to the brake light. The white one is not used and we're just adding a blanking plug to that. We now use the uh, Velcro strips to secure the hex easy can. Thank you for watching. More information can be found on our website at hexeasycan.com.